Hello mis serenitas, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Chiquita Serenita and today we're doing a tutorial review and swatches of Urban Decay's new Wild West naked palette, right? Naked Urban Decay Wild West, <laughs> if you want to call it that. The packaging, first of all, you guys, cause, oh, it's driving me crazy. The packaging is so freaking beautiful. I don't know, this has been like by far their best, in my opinion, apart from the ultraviolet one that I really, really love that packaging too. Because the other ones that they've had have just have been like really bland to me, apart from the stone. The stone had really good packaging. The quality inside was something else, right? I never bought that palette, but after seeing a couple of reviews, I was glad I didn't waste my money on that. I was like, oh God, it didn't. It was just wildfire shimmers up the ass in there. <laughs> want anything to do with that stuff i didn't care if you infused it with a hundred percent gold and it was gonna make us fly and turn into mermaids i don't care what it had in there i wasn't gonna waste my money on that wildfire shimmer formula heck to the no <laughs> this one has that snake skin effect to it like oh god and it just has this bejeweled all these tones colors in there like the teal it's such a shame that such a pretty packaging and I feel like the palette is pretty, but they could have done better because there's at least three tones in there I'm not really impressed with. And I was like, oh, you could have put more color in there. I understand it's a naked palette, but what you gave me is a neutral palette with two pops of blue in it. <laughs> that, that's what it essentially it is. Now, on my eye look today, I used the two blues that are in there, the teal blues. That's because... I like color and I had to use them right but it's not a bad palette like I, I don't want to say that it's a bad palette it's a really pretty palette but just look at this these are the only two ones that I gravitate towards right and everything else in here is pretty neutral based there's some colors in here there goes the brush <laughs> now the brush I never use the brushes in here and that's just my personal preference I like that they add that it says naked on it and it, this is more like a taupe kind of platinum colored on the on the tip of the brush, right? The metal part. I personally keep them in there and I leave them unused. So if I ever decide to sell the palette on Macari, it's intact. It's not used, okay? Just FYI, if you buy off from me. <laughs> Most of these palettes are pretty much used once for the video and I, they're never seen again. <laughs> I don't use them like that. Now this one I don't plan on selling, just FYI. It's pretty because I like it. The packaging on the outside is pretty much the same, but it's like raised lettering right here, naked. And this is raised right here as well. Just Wild West is just pretty much printed on. The back, I don't see anything special. It just says eyeshadow palette and the information. That's pretty much it. The mirrors in here, I like the mirrors that they add in here. You can pretty much at least focus on the eyes. Yeah, I like it. Now, I will tell you guys that this color right here. It's like a peachy, like a light, super light peachy, right? For a transition shade, I just can't see myself using it. I honestly think it looks too light for anyone, just anyone. If you decided you wanted to use it, if you're my color or darker, you definitely need some type of really good base to really make that color pop and stand out. On its own, I don't think it's going to do not a damn thing on anyone. It's just super light. And then these ones, can I, I can still use these as transition shade because they're like peachy tone browns. I love Hold Them. Hold Them is like a super metallic gold. This one I'm wearing as my transition shade. And let me tell you, it's like a taupe um, platinum champagne shimmer. I just love that one. It's so freaking pretty. Larido, La I think it's called. Larido. I don't know what that Larido probably. I'm not impressed with that one. It's like a taupey brown matte. It just looks really, really light in my taste. I don't know. It's like a lot of light. It's not like light that I can't use them light. I'm saying like light in my personal taste. I would have preferred them to be a bit darker. I just don't feel these ones right here. They just look like lighter versions of each other. And I, if it would have been my choice, I would have either taken this one out and replaced it with either a dark espresso brown or maybe like a black because this is a gray with a hint of purple in it. And who asked for a taupe gray? Who? Who asked for it in a Wild West? Why? If I want it to be the color of a weed on my eyes. <laughs> like those tumbleweeds. I don't know. 
why. It looks like a dead color. <laughs> Skeleton gray. I don't know. This one right here is passable. I can still use it. But if it was my choice, I would have taken out this. I would have taken out that. And I would have added another two variations of either a blue or a teal or maybe like a dual chrome with a green and blue shift. Because, like, that would have made this the best palette ever, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. This one is such a pretty color. It's the one that I have right here, and I also have it down here, and it's just like, oh, God. I love, love that freaking color. Rustler, you guys. Rustler. Off the bat, it looks like a bronze shimmer. It's just, like, straight up that golden bronze with little specks of little light brown. Oh, God. Ghost Town is this terracotta red orange and i used it as my transition shade it's a freaking beautiful color this is also a really pretty chocolate brown i just wish they would have added another darker color for deepening because the only darkest color you have in here is tex and tex is the color that i used right here at first when i was doing tex is like super dark to the point where it might as well be a green black now, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but I was like, uh, I didn't want you for that. I wanted you to stand out a lot more, not sort of like darken up. I don't know. It's still a pretty color. I'm just saying it would have been better maybe if that would have been like a one shade less lighter, you know? I think that would have made it. And like I said, I'm not a freaking, I'm not a fan of that one. <laughs> so I'm going to get started on the um, swatches, you guys. You guys already know I start off from here and I go straight across. So we can get done with this video because I haven't ate anything and I'm really hungry, okay? And I wanted to get this. I barely got this palette today and I wanted to get this review like up and gone, right? <laughs> so the first color, like I said, is standoff. It's just like this super, oh God, peachy, light, light, light color. Like, oh my God, you can't even see it on my skin. Hold on. Let me see. That's two swatches. That's three. So it needs to be built up. Obviously, like I said, put a really good base on there. And I think it'll it'll help it pop out a bit more. But right now, it's like, I'm not impressed by that color. <laughs> it's not something that I would want in a palette, period. Spun is the next color. This is another matte. This one's like, ooh, I love this one. This is like a very yellow tone peach. It's going to need to be built up as well. I think as a transition shade, I could totally still use that one. Next you have Nudie. This one is like a nude brown. That's a perfect color for it, Nudie, because it is. And I'm going to give two swatches to that one. Definitely those first three, like, you need to build them up. <laughs> no one swatches is going to help those ones out. Hold them, like I said, this is a shimmer. This is like, oh man, you guys. This is a gold, super pretty gold shimmer. It actually reminds me of one of the ones in the Honey palette, but I wouldn't know for sure without comparing it, but I like it. It's a pretty color. Cowboy Rick. This is that platinum sort of champagne type of shade. This one looks like a straight up uh, wildfire shimmer just by doing it, but I'll give it a pass because it's a super pretty color. <laughs> I liked it when I put it on my inner corner and I was like, oh yeah, look at that. Lorito, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, this one is just like a straight up taupe. It's a taupe matte. That's all it is. And I'm not really impressive. I'm not really impressed with taupes. I don't really like them. This is three swatches already. Definitely needs to build. I was like, I don't like taupes. <laughs> I, I see them swatched on my skin and I feel like they make my skin look dirty for some reason. Like bruised. Am I crazy to think that way because I don't know I look at the shade and I'm like it looks like I'm bruised <laughs> so I, don't, I don't like taupes and then next to that is that beautiful but teal color like you can call it either turquoise or teal I tend to call it like a light teal color and it's such a beautiful color it gives almost this aquamarine sheen to it like the way that it just it has this little shininess to it if you want to call it <laughs> I love that one then you got rustler that's that beautiful bronze shade that I told you guys about like look at this oh, <laughs> oh my god I love that one look at that 
It's like a copper penny bronze color. That is so freaking beautiful. Ghost Town is the one that I use for my transition shade. I will tell you guys that when I was using it as my transition shade, I'm going to give it two swatches. It doesn't need it though. Um, when I was using it for my transition shade, you get a lot of, not, I don't want to say a lot, but enough kick up in the pan. So I would say that when you're using that shade to go fairly lightly with your brush, because I was literally, this is the brush that I use, by the way, I was literally going like this. And there was like so much kick up in the pan. So I was just like going tapping very lightly when I applied it. And that shade needs to be blended out. It takes a little bit longer to blend out. Because at first, I don't know, maybe it was the base that I used. Because I used ABH. And it was kind of still ticky, like tacky. It wasn't exactly dried down when I started applying it. So I noticed that it started going patchy in some areas. Like more, applied more in certain areas than other areas. So, Basically, after a while of blending and taking my time, it did blend out beautifully. So maybe it might just be user error and that happened to me because I didn't, you know, wait for it to dry down. Or maybe it is patchy, but it just needs more tender loving time to like take your time and blend it out, right? Just letting you know. <laughs> Whiskey is a matte brown. Ooh, I like that one. That's one swatch right there. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> then you got Tex. Now I will say that Tex right here um does feel very dry and grainy. And that's just me swatching it right now. It is a very pigmented color. It does feel sort of patchy right now that I'm doing it. I had no problems with my eye, but just in case I like to mention it because it does feel super dry right now as I'm doing the swatch. Last we got that bird shit gray that nobody asked for but it's here anyways. <laughs> it looks like a taupe. It looks like another like darker form of gray taupe. I don't know. It just I don't like it. That is not a color that I would tend to use. I'm going to give it two swatch but it technically doesn't need it because it's super pigmented on its own. But I don't know. It just doesn't fit. And these are all the tones you guys together. I just feel like it doesn't, where does that fit in here in this color story exactly? Because I don't know, it doesn't make any sense to me. Definitely I would I'll take that out and then take that lightest shade out and then just replace those with some more color because right now what I'm looking at is a neutral palette with two pops of blue or blue green if you want to consider it that and that's pretty much it, right? That's it. <laughs> I mean, if you're asking me if I regret buying it, heck no, I don't. I still like it because people tend to get mad because there was a whole bunch of people saying, oh, same old boring naked palette from, from Urban Decay. And I just look at it like this. I'm not using it on its own. Once I get do the review and I know the palette, like I get a feel for the palette, right? If I know that it's basically an all neutral palette with two pops of blue and I want more oomph to it, I'm going to go get one of my glitter palettes. Like, I would have glitter on this eye right now if it wasn't for this review. If I was doing this behind the scenes and I wanted to go out and I wanted to use this palette in particular and I'm like, you know what, but I want to add something extra, I'd go get one of my Hip Dot palettes that has a very beautiful teal glitter in there and pop that on. And then I would go the extra mile and I would get one of my gel liners and I would put a line across like I would do that extraness I don't do that right now because I don't want you guys to see my eye looks and think she was able to do all that using this palette <laughs> and it's and I don't want you guys to feel like you need to go and buy all these other products to create you know pretty looks with this palette I want you guys to see what you can create with just this palette on its own but totally if you're able to use it with something else, then do that. That's all I can say about that. And at the end of the day, like I said it time and time again, it's, it's your money. You decide what you want to do with it. I'm just here as a little helper to show you guys swatches and break everything down for you guys and tell you guys, okay, you decide <laughs> if you want to waste your money or not, right? So I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to try to edit this as quick as possible and get it up on my channel uh, ASAP okay so other than that if you guys want to see how I created this look today then just stay tuned 
Okay, you guys, so for my transition shade, I'm going to go in with Ghost Town right here. It's a very terracotta brown. I really, really loved it. How It, it, it takes, actually, that one's a little, I don't want to say it's patchy, but it takes a little bit more time blending out. But once you get it to, like, that intensity and blending out how you want it, it's like a beautiful freaking shade. So that's the one you guys are going to see me use, okay? So for my next color, I used this one called Bud. Like, y'all, if you guys see me for a while, honestly, I cannot say no to blue and green and teal. Like, oh, I could not. It's a, it's such a shame that they only have two of those colors. I honestly, if this would have been like my idea for this color story, I would have got rid of that one and that one and added more, two more greens in there or at least another blue teal combination maybe a dual chrome with a blue and green shift that would have made it like next level for this palette but I'm basically going to take bud and I'm going to apply it right here in the middle just like creating that little halo I look right here hopefully they end up looking the same because I'm pretty bad at getting them to look universally even <laughs> but hopefully I won't look at like a hot mess at the end of this okay so that is the one you guys are going to see me use Okay, so now I'm going to take Tex right here, which is a very dark teal um, blue almost, and it's a matte, and I'm just going to pat it in right here, right here, and then halfway down here to, you know, basically create that halo I look like this one on this side right here. So the only thing I don't like about that color is I didn't expect it to be that dark. <laughs> Maybe because when I was doing my eye look earlier in the, I had really poor lighting in my room. It was really ugly. It looked like a, almost like a black, but now that I see it in the light, I can see the intensity of that teal, but I would have preferred it to maybe be a brighter teal, if that makes sense. Not so dark because in the pan, it looks like a teal green black, almost like really dark. Um, I would have preferred something, I don't know something brighter to brighten up the eye a lot more something similar to this but maybe like a tad bit more on the bluish side and in a matte form of course so either way let's just get to it okay <laughs> that's what you guys are gonna see me do on this side So for my next color, I went in with the color Bud again right here, and I just applied it down here with a little brush. I used, um, this is from BH Cosmetics, it's it's my Ray Ray, it's the number seven, so it's like a really small tapered brush. And I just like basically put it in, you know, blending into that already dark teal right there, and that is what you guys can see me do. So for my inner corner highlight, you guys, I went in with Cowboy Rick. This is such a beautiful, I want to call it like a taupe shimmer. It's just like a silvery taupe. I don't know how, to, it's just really pretty. I love it. <laughs> I applied it right here, you know, using my finger like I always do. And that is what I'm going to do, you guys. So that's pretty much for this eye, you guys. Let me go put on some mascara. In my waterline, I have the BH Cosmetics power pencil in the color teal i think it just adds like that extra pop of green right there and that's what i'm going to do and i'll be right back to give you guys a close-up okay so this is the finished eye look today you guys hopefully you guys like it i really like it i really love these teal colors that they add in there i just feel like they should have added maybe two more in there and it just would have made a very very perfect color story but yeah you guys let me back you guys out and i'll give you guys the final thoughts on this palette okay Okay, you guys, so I'm back, um, and I'm going to say that I actually really, really like this palette. I feel like the only color 
in here that I can honestly say I probably would never use a standoff right here. And that's just like because it's the lightest shade in there. Um, it is like a peachy light, right? <laughs> like really pastel peachy kind of, kind of color. Um, even then, it might still work as a transition shade because I know that these will definitely still work as transition shade for me. I just kind of wish they probably, if anything, get rid of standoff. Get rid of uh, Pony Up right here because Pony Up, it looks like... Uh, grayish purple tone for some reason it looks really dirty gray I don't like it um if they would have replaced that with another tone of like bluish green somewhere and then replace that one I think the whole palette would have been so much more pleasing to the eye I want to say <laughs> but other than that it is a pretty story I like it I only own like maybe two other Urban Decays I believe yeah I used to earn the cherry one I sold it and I I still own the Honey Palette and the Ultraviolet one. So this is like my third one in my collection. I don't own a lot of Urban Decay, but I, I like their stuff. So I'm going to let you guys go. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. And until next time, stay warm, stay blessed, and stay magical. Bye, you guys.